The scale of the problem is so unimaginably large. Just in New York alone, the amount of dead ash trees that we have, it's really a pity that they're not being used for construction. Every tree that we use here is a tree that doesn't turn into firewood, is a tree that's not rotting and releasing CO2 into the atmosphere, and is a tree that we don't have to cut down elsewhere. Cornell alone has 100,000 ash trees on Cornell land, and a lot of these trees are going to die. And so the, the big question is, how could these dying ash trees become a useful resource? The cabin, on one hand, is a response to the emerald ash borer crisis and um, how we can upcycle the material as construction material, the trees. And then second is that we could leverage um, emerging construction technology to find new processes to reappropriate these material. What the robotically slicing, you know, slicing of the wood allowed is the mass customization of the production with these logs. And it really changes for us um, uh, the paradigm of wood construction that we shift from something that is a typical two by four wood construction to something that is uh, much more based on the nature of the raw material. It was important for us to demonstrate that, uh, that this process can be used for actual real-world construction. So it's important that we are doing a cabin, which is a small house, as opposed to an installation. So this has very specific architectural requirements. We need to make a door, we need to make a window, we need to produce a roof, we need to insulate the space. We have 3D printed the fireplace. We have included seating and a small kitchen. One of the important research questions architecturally is how do these new processes of construction from the bottom up inform the architectural design process? One of my favorite moments is when you're standing here um, and you look at it and then the curved log just kind of produce this texture of the bark. These panels here comes from one log. So that view yeah. then reconstructs the log to move away from Mass standardization towards mass customization is a, is a much broader discussion within the architecture community and building industry. And so in that sense, this project outlines one possible trajectory for these new futures of construction.